Tamia Ryoko. Now, this is a smart and calculated villain for what she has been doing. It's like, I love that this entire episode was pretty much just dedicated to her, like finding out more about her, her freaking awesome battle with the free parasites, but I'll get into that a little bit later and all that. It's like, because this chick, what she's going through and all that, and this like whole big like psychological change and stuff like that for her, it just... It's astonishing, really, and, yo, know, babies, that's what I was saying, the motherfucking babies and all that, it's like, yo, how she used that and just how it's changing her, it's just, Jesus, guys, it's just too much to me to freaking hang. So now we get onto that fight that was straight on the start of this episode, but she was, like, going straight up against three parasites, and she, doing the wise thing, like, she actually split herself up, so she actually had a part of, like, her body and all that, like, a part of her face and all that was actually running into, like, one of the parasites, and the other two were, like, going after her, and it was, like, when we saw, like, she was, like, kind of, like, her personality was getting a lot more stupider, and she wasn't getting as smart and all that as, like, and retained as she normally was, like, she had this crazy, like, laughing kind of thing going on it was just so fucking weird as she was going by with like everyone and she's just like changing her face and just acting so like weird like and when we saw this and we saw like what was actually really happening to her is that she was using this as a plan all along just to like get them kind of all separated and they never knew about all this sort of stuff and all that it's like that you could actually like she was controlling the body so like all right we'll just destroy the, you know our teammates bodies and well that just left her, uh, one guy on their own and she could easily take it out because she took the strongest out of strength and basically just owned him and managed to trick him which was just incredibly smart of Tamiya and seeing a lot of her as she's trying to like gather up emotions like looking at like the detectives family and looking at seeing you know how they raised the child and show like all this love and care and attention and I think in a way she is trying to like, get these emotions as well like she's step by step becoming more human like as Shinichi becomes like the two make great parallels because here is a monster that's becoming human and here's a human becoming a monster that's the sort of whole thing that's going on between them right now and kind of very shocked to see that Shinichi in this whole episode felt more like a cameo like it honestly he was barely in this episode at all like he was just there trying to meet up with like Tamiya in the park and all that I was like okay I'm getting pretty mad fucking excited for this it seems like some awesome shit like I'm really excited for it but it's like it really was Tamiya's episode like she dealing with those parasites trying to uh, fathom kind of like love with a child and stuff like that and even when she had that little encounter with Murano and kind of like reassuring her because normally Tamiya just like avoid her saying I should not get involved with this this is like waste of time and he, like her saying you know Shinichi like he will finally eventually come back to normal like for his regular form so that's kind of cool and all that to see that I'm like liking her real drastic change and all that and just this episode was awesome everything to the OSTs in this episode the animation I'm so glad that it's picked up again because there was like two episodes I saw it or like the start of this, uh, the second half of this series like where it was a bit like yeah like the animation was a bit off but I'm really happy now that it's like back to normal and just everything is awesome and just like the whole stuff with the detective as well like him trying to throw the baby down the bridge and he wasn't going to do it and it was like mind fucking and just oh just so much stuff going down and I kind of liked how the detective never actually ratted out Shinichi. He was just like, yeah, I'm just going to tell you about Tamiya. And he's just like, I'm going to see my wife and child soon and all that. And I felt super bad because this guy probably thinks like throughout this whole time that it really was Tamiya. And it really wasn't. It was her group and all that that was responsible. But it wasn't her because she was somewhere else. So it's like, yeah, it was a really tragic stuff. But it's just like, oh, that epic confrontation at the end of that. We see like Tamiya and Shinichi and also as well Murano is going to be there. It's like... She's freaking awesome like that, Debbie. Like, she's awesome. I love her. She's a great character. And that crazy laugh was just amazing. So, yeah, I think it was also an uh, awesome, great episode. Definitely going to give this one a solid nine. This was a really great episode, and it really showed a lot of stuff on time itself. So let me know about that um, in the comments section down below. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys next time.